guys welcome back to my channel Benita here so in today's video I'm gonna talk about my crazy ass experience working at Fashion Nova yes the Fashion Nova like the actual retail store Fashion Nova not just the online shit that you guys see on Instagram this happened back in I would say like 2014 2015 I can't really remember like the exact year. I went to school in Burbank, California. Shout out to Liver University. And you know, your girl needed a job because I was 3,000 miles away with no income and I was broke. So I got tired of, well I didn't get tired of, but I didn't want to use the bank of my dad all the damn time. So I wanted to get my own income. So I was looking for jobs. I frequented Burbank Mall all the time because that's where Chipotle was and it was the cheapest thing I could get. That would last me like a week. Like your girl would last a week on Chipotle like that's how broke I was in college so I wanted to, I wanted a job so I was like okay I'm gonna go to the mall and just gonna walk around different shops to see who's hiring and see you know who's gonna accept your girl so I was all dressed up and everything so I go in there I'm like hey are you guys hiring and it was like I guess I was speaking to the store manager she was like oh you're looking for a job I was like yes I am she looked me up and down she's like I like your outfit I said thank you that's when I knew, I knew, girl, you gotta look the part to get the part. So I was like, what's up? But back then, Fashion Nova was not what it is now. It was, I mean, they had a, I can't remember if they had an online store. They did have an online store. Back then, that's when all the, like, early YouTubers were, like, promoting the jeans solely. Like, that's all you ever saw, Fashion Nova jeans. Fashion Nova jeans before Shade Room and World Star and all these other companies or, I mean, Instagram, like, pages were, like, promoting Fashion Nova, like, that's when Fashion Nova was just heavy on Instagram and Instagram models and YouTubers and they were just the ones who were solely like promoting Fashion Nova. And they were always talking about Fashion Nova pants but for some reason the jeans would never really fit me. I don't know if it's because I had no ass, I had no curves, like I don't know but it just wasn't working out for me. It always made me look weird, like just boxy, it was never the right fit, it was like the waist was too big and then the ass was tight. It was just weird so i didn't like their clothing but i've been there i had been there a couple of times before they always had it was like one of those random boutique stores that would just have like those thotty ass dresses tight ass bodycon dresses just in the mannequins and you walk by like the fuck is this like i've seen a few stores like that myself like just walking around if i go to a random mall right now and just walk around you'll see one random boutique that just has like those type of like club dresses and that's what Fashion Nova was back then. I don't know what it's like now. It's probably done fucking elevated since I've been there, but that's what it was back then. So I never really thought about like, oh, it's Fashion Nova. I was just like, oh, whatever. But yeah, after she told me that she liked my outfit, she was like, okay, come in tomorrow for an interview, for a group interview. And I was like, cool. She told me to be there at like five. So I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to leave early so I can go get some Chipotle. Like, this is going to be sweet. I get all dressed up again, half heels and all that. I go for my interview. I'm there early. Like, I would say I'm there around like 4 o'clock. And I'm just like walking around. Like, mind you, my interview's not until 5. So I'm just like walking around. 4.30 hits. I'm still like walking around. She's like, oh, we're going to wait a few more minutes for them to come. I'm like, yeah, of course. Like, you know, I know I'm stupid early. So that's fine. 5 o'clock hits. And I'm looking around like, so where's where are the, the people that are going to interview with us in this group interview? nobody was there so I'm just like okay maybe they're just late and then finally around like almost at 5 30 this girl shows up she's like, oh sorry I'm coming from class and the girl I like, talked for a little bit she was black so I'm like shout out to you and my school was so dominated by like Armenians Hispanics Caucasian so there wasn't really a lot of black kids in my school so I was really happy that I was like, yes, I'm going to start working with a black girl. We're going to bond. We're going to be real cool. Like, she's going to show me around. And I'm new to the area. So, like, this is about to be my new bitch. So, I don't know why I thought, like, they were going to hire both of us. But we're both walking around. She's, like, interviewing us, talking to us, like, telling us, like, the core values of the store, all that. How we have to greet every single member that comes in. Mind you, they have, like, it's damn near like a club, like I said. We've been to a bar where it's, like, the music is blasting and, like, and they were playing like hip songs too, like current songs. So imagine trying to speak to somebody as they're walking in, as the music is like boom, 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 like blasting. 
So we have to be like, hi, welcome to every single person that came in. We literally have to greet every single person. Like she made us do this as they were coming in because she wanted to see how we would do if we started working there. My my throat like at the end was just so dry. It was hurting so much. She literally like, I can't hear you. She would be all the way in the back talking about some, I didn't hear you greet that, that um, customer. And I'm like, I was right there next to them. Why do you need to hear me in the back when I'm right here? They're right here. Why do you need to hear me all the way from back there? Why do I have to scream for you to hear? It was just weird. Like she, she was like dead ass too. She was like, I want to hear you from all the way back here screaming how welcome when they come in. Do you know how crazy that looks? Imagine you right here in my face, like right here. And you're walking in. I'm like, hi, welcome. Just so my boss can hear you from back then. It was just, it was weird. So from then I was like, okay, like, okay. I, I kind of got a vibe of how the job was going to be. I was like, all right. Okay, I don't remember what the fuck she was having us do, but we were like just, like, I think we were like putting stuff back on the hanger and like trying to find price. We were doing different things. And um, me and the girl were talking a little bit and she was like, oh, I hope you get it. I was like, yeah, I hope you get it too. We were just like, you know, talking, bonding a little bit. And then she came up to us and she was just like showing us some more things, like basically training us because we were, it was basically, it felt like we were working. I think that's how we thought that we were both going to get the job because we felt like we were already working. We were already doing what, you know, the other team members were doing, greeting the members, folding stuff, re-racking stuff, putting price tag, like all that stuff. We were already doing it. So I'm like, do you just have people come into the interview for free so you could have free workers? Like, I didn't get it. What really got me was the girl who was with me. I need to give them names because I can't do this. So the, the black girl, I'll name her Tiana. And the manager, I'll name her Sharon. <laughs> I think that was actually her real name. It was something with the S, I don't care. Anyway, so Tiana was like, hey, um, so when you were staying with the pants, if we do this, blah, blah, blah. And Sharon was like, she looked at her like real like, what did I just say? I already told you, I just told you. So why are you asking me? And Tiana was like, her eyes got real big, she got real quiet. And I was just like, oh shit, in my head, like, what? And then I looked at Tiana, and Tiana looked at me, we were just like, what? Like, what? And then Sharon would just like continue to explain different things, teach us different things. And like, at that point, she was going so fast, but I'm just like, I can't even ask you a question because one, the music is fucking blasting, and two, Bitch, you don't like to repeat yourself. How are you gonna train us to try to teach us certain shit and you don't like to repeat yourself? Like, I get it, you just said it, but I need to reword it in a way that I can understand for my own, like, you know, mental clarity. But she would just, like, did not like to repeat herself. She said that, when she said that one, that one good time, like, what did I just say? We were both like, okay, noted. We're not asking no motherfucking questions. Like, we're just gonna wing it. I already knew it at that point like if I get this job I'm just gonna have to figure shit out on my own because clearly the boss don't fucking know how to be a manager so we're there for a good two hours so around six o'clock she's like okay um well I'll we'll give you guys a call and let you guys know what the final decision is within a week and we're both like okay cool so um I'm getting my shit Tiana's getting her shit we're both like walking and then she called me back she's like Benita come here and I was just like like, bitch, I've been here for hours and I have heels on my feet hurt. I'm waiting on my Chipotle. Like, what do you want? Like, I'm trying to get some food. I'm hungry. And she was just, like, talking to me. I don't know what she was saying. She was like, yeah, blah. And Tiana just, like, rolled out. She was like, look, you're taking too long and I don't know what's going on. So I really don't even know what she was saying. You could tell she was just trying to, like, stall Tiana out. So I'm just like, okay, like, what? Why would you call me back here? So she started putting me to work, like grab all the hangers, do this, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like working. I'm like, okay. So I'm like working or whatever. I'm thinking like, why the fuck does she still have me here? Like I was in my head pissed off because one, I'm hungry as shit. And two, I, I was the first one here. Why am I the last one out? Like what's going on? Did I not complete something? Like I was so confused. So I was just like, whatever, I want the job. So whatever then I decided to make a comment I was like so I'm assuming I got the job and the other co-worker was there too the, the other girl who was already there like working she just like laughed and Sharon was like are you still here and I was like yeah she's like do you see the other girl I was like no she was like then yeah <laughs> She has so much attitude. I'm just like, sis, what's going on? Like, you can't ask this girl not one fucking question. She was so 
fucking, I hate to even say the word, but she was like bipolar. Like that's the best way I can describe her. She was just like on it, hot and cold. Like it was really weird. Like it was scary because I didn't know like if I was gonna be on her good side or her bad side. I would do something and she'd be like, oh, you're doing a good job, baby. Like she'd be like, patting my back oh you're doing good like literally patting my back like, oh you're doing such a good job baby oh you're so good blah blah and then the minute you try to ask her a question she was just like it would, it would flip in her face she'd be like what did i just say what are you doing like, she was just so cold it was weird it was, she was hot and cold it was too much for me i'm just like that one day let me know like bitch you're gonna be in for a lot because I was young at that time too, so I'm the type of bitch like you got attitude. I'm gonna give you the same energy. Even back then, I was meeting bitches with the same energy, and I was just like, oh Lord, I really gotta bite my tongue with this one because I want the job because I need the money. One, but like this bitch is kind of crazy, and I don't know if it's gonna like if I'm gonna like really be able to take it. But after we closed that night, like she had me closing and everything, bitch. So after we closed, like I was talking to the other coworker. She's like, yeah, I get it. Sharon's a real bitch, but. I mean, I didn't even say nothing to her. I was just like, how do you like working here? She's like, yeah, Sharon's a real bitch, but you know, you just get used to it. You just get used to it after a while. You just start to like tune her out. In my head, I was like, shit, I don't know. Like, I don't know how that's gonna go, but if you bitches can do it, and so can I. After that, she called me, told me when my next schedule was. I came, I worked the fitting room. She had me work the fitting room and the floor. Meanwhile, she had me like screaming, hi, welcome to bitches, all the way from the fitting room and shit. I'm just like, like every night I would work there, my throat would just be hurting at the end of the, at the end of the night because I'm literally screaming at these fucking customers all day. It was it was a lot. It was too much. But um, get through the next day. I get through the next day after that. I think I worked there for a total of three to four days, and then I just woke up one day. I was like, bitch, I'm literally exhausted having to go to work. Like I just got this job. I shouldn't already feel like this in the beginning, you know. So even back then, I was trying to practice like my mental health. I was like, I just got this job, but I shouldn't be feeling like I'm walking on eggshells around nobody. Like, you're not my fucking slave master. Like, bitch, that's not what's going on here. Like, I, I, like, I shouldn't already feel like I'm dreading going into work when I just got the job. You know when you first get a job, you're like excited to be going to work because you know you're about to start making money. It's about to start like hanging out with some cool ass co-workers i always get along with all my co-workers so like i already knew i'm about to like start hanging out with these bitches I have some like la friends or whatever because i just started at that school as i said so i didn't really know anybody at that school and, and i just didn't like it was different it was off at my school so i was like okay these bitches seem a little bit realer so i'm about to like make some new friends so i was excited at that aspect but actually going to work and having to deal with that manager because she was always going to be there because i just like dreaded that so uh, one morning i just called i woke up i called i was just like i felt it in my spirit i was like yeah i won't be able to work there anymore when can i pick up my check <laughs> and she was like are you are you serious like she was mad as shit i'm like yeah when can i pick up my check like i need my money run me my money she was like okay just come in and get your money i said like, okay cool I came in, she literally paid me out the cash drawer, and then I was on my way. I was like, yeah, like it took me a good while before I went back to the club. I mean, this <laughs> is the club. It took me a good while before I went back to the Fashion Nova because I just felt like it was too fresh. I was like, let me get a, give it a few weeks before I go back there to shop or to window shop or to just look around. I just like being in there because I felt like everybody, this is when Fashion Nova first popped off. So I felt like everybody kept talking about Fashion Nova. So I would just like to go in there just so I could Snapchat like, eh, like look, I'm in Cali. Uh, I was so annoying back then. I still am because I'm always talking about Cali. But uh, that was my nightmare experience of working at Fashion Nova. Oh, I'm sure Fashion Nova is much better now. It's been years since I've been back there. I'm sure they have so much better like quality, clothes my experience didn't detour me away from actually shopping like online from fashion nova so i still buy a few pieces now the the jeans actually fit me better now i don't know what they did fashion nova definitely made a complete change in like the quality of their products because i'm not gonna lie it used to be trash like straight basura like the quality i was actually there at the shop feeling the clothes it was trash the material was just so flimsy but it's gotten a lot better so i can definitely give you guys that fashion over your quality has gotten so much better over time i'm proud of you for that the jeans actually fit me better now like it makes my ass pop like i don't know they figured whatever they needed to figure out they figured it out and everything is looking good it's looking right on your girl kudos for growth
that definitely would work at Fashion Nova again, but uh, I'd have to be the boss. Like, there's no, there's no other exception. But uh, you can definitely sponsor your girl, okay? I used to work for you guys, so now we could partner up. What's good? Fashion Nova, what's good? <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.